I, I, I don't know what happened. I went into Tuesday morning and I, I think I blacked out. I lost control a, a little bit, a lot. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know that's not something I typically say. It's something a lot of other YouTube channels say, but it's not something I typically say, but I watched someone and I, I don't remember who it was, but they said that sometimes they just go in to, I think it was Kira from OK Baby. I think she said she just goes into her videos and as if, you know, you already know her and she forgets that, you know, she has new subscribers too. And I absolutely 100% without a doubt do the same thing. I pick up the camera and act as if we already have known each other for a very long time. But I have been gaining a lot of new subscribers. It's just my channel is growing so quickly. And thank you guys and welcome to my channel. So I am gonna show you guys what happened on a trip to Tuesday morning. Um, I typically have places that I love to shop at Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, the At Home Store, Ross, TJ Maxx. So I'm kind of always in the same bucket of decor, if you will. And there's shops like Dollar Tree and Tuesday Morning, and I know they're not equal in comparison, but they're equal in the fact that you just don't know what you're gonna get. And Ross is the same way, and TJ Maxx is also. And so I really like going to these places because you just, you get unique stuff that you're just not really gonna see everywhere else, like a generic place like Hobby Lobby and things like that. So anyway, I went, lost control, blacked out, all kinds of things happened, went over budget, but I'm gonna show you what I found. The first thing is I saw this blanket and I said that this blanket was gonna go home with me. This blanket is gorgeous. I have a thing for blankets. I actually think I did a blanket collection haul. Yes, that happened on my channel. Um, I'll try to find it, link it down below just in case like that's piqued your interest. But I, can you reach through the camera and just, this is gorgeous. And the colors are so warm and fall and stunning. I love them. And it was $24.99. There's one thing that I think you're gonna learn about me on, on my channel. It's that, I don't know if over prepare is the right word, but I definitely like to be prepared and ahead of the game. I think that this actually stemmed from situations when my daughter was younger and she would have events like either at the daycare or at school, like kindergarten and first grade. And I was never prepared and she was missing out on things. And I think that's what's driven me to now, like I wanna be in the know, I wanna know what's happening, I wanna be organized. Cause she's my only child and I only had the one opportunity to get those moments right, I guess. So I just kinda wanna explain why I like to be ahead of the game. Um, and I am trying to do that as well for my niece is basically where I'm headed next. Her birthday is in December. Her birthday, my daughter's birthday, my birthday. It's a crazy month. So I just think that she's really gonna love like a little kitchen set. And then I got this, which was $4.99. Don't you think that's an amazing price? And I also found this one, which was $5.99. And what's interesting is Dollar Tree sells something similar to this and I actually picked it up and hauled it in a video. And Dollar Tree did the same exact thing. It's little fruits with Velcro in the middle so that you can Velcro them and then slice it, pretend like you're slicing it. And so I found this whole set of a bunch of fruit and it was $5.99. Tuesday morning is also interesting in the fact that they have quite an impressive aisle filled with international type of food and snacks. They have Things that you just wouldn't normally find in a grocery store or at Walmart or at Target. They have the most beautiful packaging and different, different choices to make from teas and coffees and cookies and all kinds of food, you know, that you just don't really see in the US. And I picked some stuff up. I found these French butter cookies and they were $2.99. Look, there's a beret on the cookie. That's hilarious. I love the little yellow stripes. It's really fun. It's like a little candy shop. So I'm gonna try those out. And then I picked up a bag of gummy bears. This intrigued me because it says it's the world's best. So I wanted to go ahead and try them and just compare the taste to my favorite Haribo, Haribo, Haribo. 
and it was $2.99. Tuesday morning also has a great variety of things for your pet, cats, dogs. It is just the cutest, and I found this Conair, which is a brand for for human supplies, it was $2.49, and this is a shampoo massage brush. Another thing that I love at Tuesday morning are their cards. You guys know that when I go to Dollar Tree, I'm obsessed with storing, stocking up on cards. Um, I always, my daughter just notifies me at the last minute of things sometimes, and it's just nice to have them on hand. And usually I do have cards for myself as well, but a lot of the times it's like a, a birthday present for her friends and things like that. So look how cute this one is. It has real little pom-poms and little birthday hats, and it was $1.99. And then the card on the inside has this gorgeous foil lining with a mint green envelope. And this one was really special. I can't believe this was $1.99. And it has, what was, what was that noise? <sighs> Have you watched Vlogtober Day 3? Go watch it. I'm gonna move on. And this card is gorgeous. I love the little confetti. Look how beautiful the confetti is and the colors that match the envelope. Ooh, love the stripes. So beautiful. I picked up some stocking stuffer or like little Christmas presents for my daughter. Yep, I'm telling you, I start early. I found these cute little socks. Aren't these fun? Has a little elephant. She loves elephants. I actually adopted her an elephant from Africa um, for Easter, and she loves it, and this was $3.99. When I saw these decorative boxes, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't. And I had to literally sit there as I was looking at them and think, what am I going to use these for? And I just thought that they might actually look really cute in my office so that I can just kind of put papers in because they're just always floating on top of my desk. And I just thought this would be a nice, neat way to just store my current receipts and things that I like to just kind of keep out in case I need to grab them. Um, so this one says Woodland. And then it has a very obvious Woodland theme. The branches, the squirrels. It's the same image on the back. And the texture is really interesting. And then it just looks like a book. So if you were to actually stack them, you would see that, and then here is this one. It's like a midnight theme. The fox and the owl are out and about. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Stunning. So again, these are gonna go um, in my office, top of my desk. Oh, and they were uh, $8.99 each. I have a thing for paper plates and napkins. I don't know what else to say. I found this beautiful combination. They had gorgeous other options to choose from, but I love a good old vintage truck. And can we just talk about the detail? The bucket of apples, the broom. I mean, this is re this really is a unique overall image of a truck. I've never seen like this added detail at the bottom here. Usually it's just a truck filled with something, whether it's Christmas trees or, or pumpkins, but this little grass detail here makes this one extra unique. Happy fall, y'all. Very Southern. All right, then I picked up some fragrance packets like this. So this one is farm fresh. I love the packaging. Has a Christmas theme to it. It was $2.99 and you get three packets in here for that price and they smell like evergreen trees. It's a beautiful scent and for whatever reason when I smell this I think of um, Christmas vacation. And here is a fall selection. There's that truck again. See what I mean? Just the truck and the pumpkins apple cider and hay rides are in that direction and autumn acres i don't know that that smells like a pumpkin patch but kind of maybe it's a really pretty scent i have to say i'm not even sure which one i like most because they're both so different and they're both so good and now we're transitioning into the christmas portion of this video which is where i just completely lost control of my life I found the most gorgeous Christmas cards, and hello! Can we talk about this gorgeous little country store, which 
looks very similar to the one that's in Baby Boom. I don't even know if they did an outside shot of that country store, to be honest, but if they did, this is what I imagined what it would look like. The part where she goes into the store to buy kerosene so that she could basically, you know, put her house on fire so that she can move back to New York. I just kind of imagine that this is the store she was in. I found beautiful puzzles, beautiful, beautiful puzzles, and ta-da, look how gorgeous. They were both, how much were they? They were both $6.99, and it just has this beautiful Christmas landscape and scenes. I love this one. Look at all the details. It is a thousand pieces, and I am going to definitely attempt both of these this year. So I absolutely love, love this. If this one's called Christmas Cabin, and this one is called Snow Crest Lodge, just FYI. And I picked up some tissue paper. I love tissue paper, I love wrapping. It is, it is one of my favorite moments that when I think back to all of my Christmases, I had the best time just sitting on the floor of my living room or wherever I was and wrapping presents. I love to be very specific about what tissue I'm picking and matching. It, it may sound kind of, I don't even know what it sounds like to some people, but all I know is, is I have the best time. So I got this one that has, there's a quite a bit in here. It feels pretty, pretty thick, but that could, that might not mean anything because each individual sheet may be just thicker tissue. So it may seem like I'm getting a lot. You get 24 sheets in here, $2.99 for each of these. You know I had to do a plaid moment. And I liked this one with the ho ho ho. And the Christmas lights, this print gets me. Every single year, wherever it may be, Dollar Tree has put out some gorgeous Christmas light patterns. I hope they come out again this year. So. Love the tissue selection. This I'm very excited about. It was also in their clearance section. Look at this very vintage old school mug. Uh, even the label has that vintage look. These have been around for so, so long. Aladdin's Heritage plaid vacuum bottle and it was $14.99, but it has a yellow sticker and the yellow meant 40% off. A double wall vacuum insulated, which means it keeps it hot and steamy or icy cold for 15 plus hours. It has a bonus buddy cup, one for you and one to share, which speaking of share, reminds me of that moment in Clueless when she's like, oh, I packed blah, 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 and I totally didn't mean to. And then she gives it to her teacher, but here's the little buddy cup. Bought some wrapping paper. I mean, I bought tissue. Might as well go this route, right? And look how fun this one is. It's a bunch of different vintage cars. Sorry for the glare because the wrapping is still on there. But this one, and it has a little rack on top. This little green car. There's presents in the window. And then in this little bug van, there's a tree. I found the most beautiful, adorable little plate and mug set and I, I could not help myself. I told you, I blacked out. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, all these things were in my cart and I was at the checkout and I was handing them my credit card. That's all I remember. So I'm seeing this for the first time with you. Uh, this is a beautiful little plate and it was $9.99. And then just look how unique that is. There's little like deers that are like added onto the plate. I love the red stripes, which is gonna be interesting here in a second, I'll show you why. And then I don't know why they gave you a cookie recipe card, but that's kind of cute. And here's the mug. So what's interesting about the mug is the inside has a green stripes and this has red. So I really love the difference there. And it also came, I've never seen this. I have never seen a mug come with a stir 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 and it's a little spoon i don't know maybe i'm i'm just thinking you'd stir with this but i don't know tell me what you think this is supposed to be and then this one's a large deer look how beautiful he is i got another mug i also could not pass up on this one i just loved how vintage this looked something about the way that they drew santa and the window with the hammer and it's nighttime 
it's a nighttime scene and I love that. When Dollar Tree came out with their nighttime scenes for their Christmas gift bags, I was over the moon. Something about nighttime snowy scenes, really good. All right, here is another blackout moment, but look what I brought home. How cute is this little house that someone built? Like there, you can just see the material. It was definitely handmade. You can just tell. All the little details are beautiful. You can see that the roof is actually made of wood chips. The front is beautiful. They added the wreath. There's little fire logs, a snowman. What in the world? The only thing I don't understand, someone please tell me if you know, is why is there an empty box? Like you can actually remove this piece and then pull this back and like the house is empty on the inside. What are you? There's a hole right here. Like what are you supposed to do with this? I'm, is this a birdhouse? Like, I just don't know what this is supposed to be. So if you know, oh yeah, the tag tells me. This is apparently a birdhouse. Birdhouses and feeders. Wow. I bought another birdhouse apparently, now that I know what it is. Couldn't quite figure it out because I just wasn't paying attention to the label, label, but. This one has more of a gingerbread theme. Look how fun. Gives me that Hansel and Gretel. I guess, also, look at the detail. The snowy roof. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so that, you just saw the product of my weakness. I just rolled into that store and my eyes were like, bing, 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 looking at everything. It's just such a beautiful store. I hope that you guys have a Tuesday morning near you. And that's it for today's haul. Hope that you enjoy the chattiness. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.